We've launched an open tech innovation call uh, for well plug and abandonment. What we're looking for is to try and address the challenges that the industry faces um, in the UK continental shelf, whereby it's expected that something like 1,400 wells in the next um, 10 years will need to be abandoned. And the current practice is this will cost something like £7 billion. So it's obviously a huge opportunity for the industry if we can address the way that this is done. The plug and abandonment process is fundamentally the sealing of the well bore at the end of its useful life to prevent the release of hydrocarbons. Ordinarily, the process involves removal of quite a lot of uh, heavy tubular steel components from within the well bore and then the placement of uh, cement across the uh, exposed formations to, to do this. Um, and that usually involves the use of a rig or a, a heavy vessel to enter the wells. So around about six million is the current estimated cost per well to, to undertake this process. It's a, a cost liability to the industry. Um, it's a very important from an environmental protection perspective, um, but it's not really adding any longer term value to industry. So we're looking at solutions that will enable us to try and migrate towards what we call in the industry a rigless um, plug and abandonment opportunity, which is to remove the need for that big heavy um, equipment. Um, and by doing so, we need to reduce the scope of the um, abandonment process. So if we can look at technologies that would enable us to isolate formations without the removal of the tubing and the casing strings, which are these heavy steel components, then that will be really useful um, and change the way that we do it. Mm -hmm. um, we're also looking at uh, alternative barriers. The, f the industry standard currently is to use cement, quite long cement plugs to isolate the formations. If we can look at new innovative and different barriers that we can place in a, a easier, simpler, quicker fashion. Um, new materials, whether they be um, resins or different types of material, then that's gonna help us as well. We need to broaden, I think, our understanding as an industry. We need to look at other industries and get ideas and opportunities from other industries as to where that type of um, process is, is utilized and therefore how it might be adapted to, to the oil field piece. I'm not obviously aware of any simple solutions, otherwise I would have uh, gone away and used them. At the moment we're looking for ideas, the call is really to get people's ideas. So people need to just propose their ideas through our submission template. So ones that are then evaluated by our internal and external panel will be put on a, sh on a, on a shortlisted process and then we'll work with those shortlisted individuals to develop their project, uh, sorry, their ideas into a, a more of a project proposal um, and that group will then be submitted towards um, a final evaluation process with industry pan academic panel to assess and decide which ones we think are the most suitable for us to invest in. We've got six weeks for the call open, so submissions need to be back in in the end of the first week in June, um, and then we anticipate that it would probably take about um, two months for us to evaluate those proposals in collaboration with our industry partners and also through um, re-engagement with the submitting individuals or organisations uh, to, to close that out. We will be looking to place a uh, commitment and sanction our project activity probably at the middle to end of third quarter this year and then start to work those projects into reality from then. We would expect that the projects would be of anywhere between 12 and 24 months type duration um, and that would, you know, what we're striving for is to get towards sort of industry acceptance and deployment of these tools in a, in a realistic time frame but that will be dependent on the type of technology that we, uh, we see. We have our own funding as an, an, an organisation, the Oil and Gas Technology Centre has a million pounds that we're looking to sort of like uh, support, putting together this portfolio and we would supplement that with sort of industry partners. So we have industry interest in this call um, and we would be able to work with them to, to pull together a, a, an investable sort of fund to put that portfolio in place. Mm -hmm.